Hi everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Um, I thought we'd play this <laughs> today. I don't really know how deep we'll go into this, but uh, I, I remember playing it super briefly a while ago, and I enjoyed the concept, but I just, I just fell away from it. And like, oh, well, you know, I should do a deeper dive into this game. I feel like I should give this game a bit more of a chance than I did before. So we're gonna. It's Long Live the Queen. It's like a kind of a, it's weird. It's like a visual novel, but like survival game. It's very interesting. Oh, hi, Joslyn. How are you doing? King Dowager, Duke of Calories. Cal Cal Duke of Calories. He loves cake. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. And there's Ella D. I've, I'm already blocking, I'm already blocking things up here. Make me a little bit smaller. Here we go. I'd be tiny now. There you are, you can see things a bit better now. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends. But I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday. But I know you can do it. Prepare? Prepare for what? It has been a while since I've played this. You'll learn quickly, and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. But uh, usually in royal circles, it wouldn't become queen until... Until the current monarch has, you know, kicked the bucket. Isn't that usually how it works with monarchies? It's not like, okay, you're 15 now, that's it, have the crown, see ya. I'm retired now. This is not what Mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. But, oh, wait a minute, though. If King Dowager, does that just mean he's kind of filling in? Until LED comes of age. Uh, maybe I'm missing that meaning there. Maybe that's what Dowager is. I I don't know. I've never had to look up. I've never had to. Okay, wait a second. A dowager is a widow or widower who holds a title or property. A uh, dower derived from his or uh, her or his deceased spouse. Uh, dowager usually appears in association with monarchical and aristocratic titles. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, at least we know what it means, but. Wouldn't so that I guess he just either way he doesn't get to retain the crown I guess. All of Nova depends on us, on you. <sighs> I will be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm going in as if this is my first ever time, because it may as well be, let's be honest. Welcome to Long Live the Queen. If this is your first time playing, you should read this brief introduction on how the game works. Okay, tell me more. You'll be controlling Elodie, the almost queen of Nova, as she tries to prepare for her coronation. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. Okay, high stakes. Definitely nothing to stress about. You also need to keep an eye on Elodie's mood. With her mother's tragic death, Elodie is not very happy right now. The mood button will take you to the emotion screen for more details. Ah, oh, okay. Elodie is feeling both afraid and depressed, but her strongest emotion is depressed. Hmm. Same. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression, her strongest emotion would then be afraid. Ah, right. So, ooh. Wow. That one on the, the that one on the far right, pressured on lonely. Oh my word. Which one of those would you want to be? I have my moments where I want to be lonely. Let's be fair, but sheesh. It's definitely not a situation you want to be in all the time, though, is it? Elodie's current mood affects her ability to learn. It will give her a bonus to some skills and a penalty to others. Let's take a look at the skills screen now. Oh my god, I forgot there was... This is ridiculous. Oh my word. 
Skills are broken into four main categories. Social, physical, intellectual, and mystical. Well, I'm all about the mystical. Inside these categories are skill sets. Groups of three related skills. You start with zero in all skills. Yeah, we're so talented. So talented. I can see this one here, the social. We've got like minus one for royal demeanor, minus two for conversation. Um, and plus one for expression. That's it. That must be based on your mood then. Oh, mood depressed. Bonus to expression, animal handling, penalty to royal demeanor, conversation, and athletics. Ah. Every week, Elodie can study two skills. Normally, she earns two points in a skill for every weekday she studies. Oh, this is a lot of maths. So if she studies history, she will earn two points, five days, ten points. Just in jet... Mm, that, this is a lot. Because Elodie is depressed, she has a minus two penalty to the social skill set conversation. She doesn't feel like talking to people right now. If she studies conversation, she will earn two... Oh, so no points. Oh. All right, then. Noted. However, she has a plus one bonus to expression skill set. If she studies one of the expression skills, she will earn two plus one points per day, which means three points a day, 15 points for the week. Ah, so you've got to look at where the bonuses are as well. Ah. If you study a skill you have a penalty for, you could be wasting your time and not learning anything. If you study a skill you have bonuses for, you will learn much faster than normal. All of these bonuses and penalties will change when Elodie's mood changes. She can also gain bonuses to skills by studying related skills. Check the skill screen every week to see your current bonuses <laughs> based on your current mood. Once you know your mood, skills, bonuses and penalties, you are ready to choose your classes for the week. Ah! Oh my! The classes screen breaks down skill sets by category for your morning and evening classes. When you select a skill set, the three options in that set will appear on the right side of the screen. Uh, uh. Choose a class option for both morning and evening classes, then click the Done button, which will appear in the lower right corner. Alright, okay. This isn't this isn't overwhelming at all. As you play through the story, you will sometimes see feedback bubbles appearing over the text. These tell you what's happening behind the scenes. Oh, bubbles like these will show you Elodie's, uh, when Elodie's mood is being altered by events. Bubbles like these will show you when the story is changing based on what skills Elodie has learned so far. If the test fails, there is some option being missed because she doesn't have enough points in that skill yet. Ugh. Sure. This feedback is very helpful in figuring out different options to try. But if you don't want to see, you can turn the bubbles off in the preference. No, I need everything. I need every single slice of help I can get. Now, get ready to become a queen. Yes. Wow, okay, well, that's it. We're in. I feel like I should save before I do anything else. Name it. Uh, Fill one. Nothing like starting with some positivity. Um, okay, so let's check mood. Let's just try and remember. So we, this is where we were before. Um, skills. So yeah, we have that plus one to expression and plus one to animal handling. So really what we should be doing is... Oh, we can get different outfits too. Anyway, so what we, should do, we need to be doing expression and animal handling then. So let's... Expression... Animal handling. Oh, and I have to pick one of these. Uh, decoration. Drawing, painting, arranging flowers, dressing well. Skill with musical instruments or the, the skill of singing beautifully. Oh, well, I've always wanted to be able to sing beautifully. So let's, let's, let's get Elodie to do some singing. And for animal handling, we've got horses, dogs, falcons. I mean, pretty, pretty. Riding and grooming, training and hunting or training and hunting. Oh... Um, oh, horses. Yeah. Let's go with that and see how, let's see, let's see how that goes. Mm. You practice deep breathing exercises to build up your ability to sustain a note. Good. And you walk around the stables, meeting the royal horses, learning about their breeds and the names for different parts of their anatomy. <coughs> What's all that noise outside? 
Who's here? Oh, it's my cousins. And my aunt and uncle. Oh, hi, Lucille. Hi, Lucille. Countess of Nix, huh? Darling, we were so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. You look well, niece. You don't. You look so exhausted. You look so tired, Laurent. Do you need to lie down? Hi, Charlotte. How 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 is that how is that nickname pronounced for Elodie? Luddy? Hi Luddy. Lottie? Lottie mix. You know anyway. <laughs> Hi Lottie. I haven't seen you in ages. Would you be staying long? Yep. Mummy said we'd be here all month. Alright, gotta keep our eyes peeled. There's people after the throne, you know. Or at least I assume so. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Yay, plus one cheerful. Oh, wonderful. Now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? Uh, uh, uh. Talk to your father. Attend court. Oh, adds to the depression, that, though. Explore the castle. Adds to the loneliness and the fear. Ooh, the tomb is not good. Service apparently takes depression down a bit. No effect if we visit the dungeons. Play with the toys. Yeah. Walk in the gardens. Sneak out. <laughs> There's so many options. Oh. Oh, well, I always want this on. This makes sense. To always be able to see this. Yes, I always want to be able to see this, please. Uh, so current mood is... Well, the depression's not as bad now. If we could, like... Maybe lift that a bit more. But maybe we should be looking at boosting another stat. Maybe we should do the sneak. Nah, well, I guess I kind of want to... I like character interactions, you know. Yeah, let's go, and, let's, go and, let's go and do this. I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. You should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is... Something like this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. Interesting, why would that be? What dangers lurk out there, outside of the castle walls? I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. But at least we can have fun together here. Yay, another cheer point. Well, we still don't look exactly fantastic, do we? We're not exactly exuding a, a bouncy, carefree attitude in our profile here. Uh, let's check our mood. Okay, so we're still... Alright, interesting. I mean, I assume we don't want everything balanced. Oh, because Afraid is... Well, interesting, because they're both the same, but I guess it just said, well, Afraid closest, I guess. Um, I'm going to save often, I think. Just because uh, choices are uh, choices be important. I wonder if I should keep an eye on what I select too, because if things go wayward and we fail miserably, I want to make sure I don't make the same mistakes. And I can't remember my mistakes, so that's going to be an issue for me. Hmm. So where's our skill sitting? All right, interesting, interesting, interesting. That's a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, what's plus and what's not? Oh, ag oh, agility. We got plus one bonus to agility and faith. So perhaps we should have a pop at those two. Agility and faith. Physical and mystical. So agility. Oh, interesting. Faith's over here. That, that's right, isn't it? Oh, shoot. Sorry. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Agility, I'm just totally... See, I'm already getting it wrong. So anything in agility. Faith's another option. I've got to go pick one of these. Uh, dance. Knowing the steps and carrying them out with grace. The ability to respond quickly to surprises. This seems important. Don't know why. I just get, I've just got a hunch. The ability to stretch and contort without pain. Ooh. I mean, that could also be important. Reflexes. And faith. Uh, finding and maintaining your own inner peace. 
uh, interpreting signs from nature of what the future might hold. Ooh, that might be handy too. The magical history of Norve. No, divination. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to set us up for. I'm trying to set us up for not being murdered. That's my first concern. Because the one thing I do recall from playing this before is that I got, I got, I think I got poisoned or something. It wasn't pretty. I died. I got murdered. So, I'm trying not to get murdered. Right, let's see. Ooh, interesting. Your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking those touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. Okay, and then divination. You learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. I hope you're paying attention, Elodie, because I'm not. What's that commotion outside? Father? What's going on? Juliana, Duchess of Ursul. Another new character. I have come to pay my respects in honour of your mother. You have no respect or honour. It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I sense turbulence. What? I am a lumen, as was she. And like every lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the Crown Princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. Arrest her? <laughs> arrest her! To the dungeon! If we arrest her, that means she'll be in the dungeons, though, and we could visit her in the dungeons. Is that an option? Do you think that's how that would go down? If we pick that option? Huh. But well, for now, I'm going to play the nice the nice card and let her stay. Sorry, Papa. I want to hear what she has to say. She stares. Yeah! I'll do what I want. As you wish. Damn right. Um, I guess we'll visit Juliana. I want to talk to Papa at some point, though. Visit Dungeons. Oh, willful and angry. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. What crystal? Oh no! Oh poopies! I need to I need to study law to know that. Well, that means I have to make a note of that. So law for Juliana. I I'm, I'm keeping notes. I'm keeping notes. The source of power for any lumen is a particular magical crystal. Once you've bonded with it, it becomes part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do you have a crystal? Of course. <laughs> what a silly question. Why wouldn't I? She holds out her hands. Light flickers above her bosom, and then, with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. You reach out to touch it, and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. Huh. Alright. What's our mood now? Oh, we're a bit willful. We're still more afraid than anything else, though. But it's going to be interesting to see if that change, what that changes. Man, agility is even more. Agility and faith are even more now. I feel like I should just keep bashing away at those until I change something else. I'm going to save again, though. So we're going to do... We'll do agility and faith again. But maybe I'll pick different things. Maybe I'll do flexibility and maybe I will learn some law this time. Uh, you learn to relax and evaluate the, uh, the tension in your body. Then to practice the different types of motion available to each of your joints. Twisting, shifting and rotating. And then... Whoa, quite a, that's quite a jump. Only a lumen can channel magic. And only with the help of an attuned crystal. See, if we'd studied this before Juliana turned up, we'd have known this beforehand. Might have helped us 
somehow. The ability to control a crystal seems to be inherited, so crystals can be passed from parent to child upon the lumen's death. Cool. Now we know. He loves me, he loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? If she had a boyfriend, she wouldn't need to do the whole loves me, loves me not thing. You would hope it would be the first one. Not really. I just like to play with the flowers. What the? All of a sudden, the Duchess of Ursula rushes in the garden and points a sword at you? Uh, excuse me? No, not at you. At your feet? Uh oh. Ah, ah, what is it? Snake? Spider? Terrifying hedgehog? Hedgehogs aren't terrifying. I was trying to think of something that wasn't at all terrifying, and a hedgehog actually was the first thing that came to mind. Princess! Don't move. Hold still, look down. I'll hold still. I trust her. You want to hold still. Damn it! But you don't have the composure to hold your position without peeking. Damn it! Composure. I need composure. So then, composure. Right, this is where I'm making more notes. Composure. Uh, 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 sword? I, I don't know. I'm trying to think what I could call that. You look down where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass. At least it's not in your boots. You can't help it. Damn it! You squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! Oh, your cousin pushes you aside and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. Lottie! Too late. Jude Ennis swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. Somebody needs to suck the venom out. Uh, uh, dibs not me. What's going on out here? Your daughter's been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get a herbalist right away. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I'm sorry. I don't feel good. I'm seeing some pretty colours, though. We will be returning home to Merva immediately. Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. <gasps> Somebody planted it. Somebody is trying to kill me. Someone may have tried to kill you. There, thanks, Juliana. I said that already. Look, I might be a little bit airy fairy, but I got that much. Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know. No, that's probably made us feel bad. Well, that's them gone. Maybe we should talk to Papa, like I said. Like I said, we should. Dad, what happened to Mom's Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. It's up your bum, isn't it? Can I have it? <laughs> no. But it's mine. Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want. But for now, you are still a child. Yeah, funny how that works, huh? But now you're a child, but in a year, then you can do whatever the hell you want. Well, that didn't. Well, it got me a willful point, I guess, didn't it? So where are, what's our mood now? Still afraid, ooh. Oh, right, because the snake. The snake incident. So how does that affect all my skills now? Uh, let's see. Man, my agility is still... It's still agility and faith, isn't it, really? I've got to start changing some things around if I want to try anything else. Um, but I do... I'm very keen on continuing to try and just boost the stats that I have the most bonus in. So I think we will do that. So it's still the same two, but maybe I will. Should I hit up reflexes again? And maybe meditation? Yeah, I think I'll do those two. Keep those reflexes going. Uh, let's see. Practice with a jump rope to increase the speed of your footwork. Uh, you practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly on it, turning your hand and your eye to react. I can play sports. Hooray! All right, and then we've got practice assuming a sitting position that allows you to be relaxed and tranquil without being so relaxed that you're likely to fall asleep. Nothing wrong with falling asleep during meditation. <laughs> hey, if you need a nap, you need a nap. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zara and their parents gone. It's certainly not empty, though. 
Seems like we get more servants every day. Hmm. Have they all been properly vetted? I was so worried about Charlotte after that snake bit her. But her mother said she's okay, so I guess it turned out all right. I failed a poison test? Well, I guess that was... Okay, I haven't done very well at picking up things at all. Maybe she has a guardian angel. Maybe it's us. Anyway, plus one angry? Oh my word. I don't know if I want that or not. Um, I guess it would be nice to lift the afraid up a bit more now. Rather than expound upon it. But I do want to try and boost more than one thing at once. Maybe this. Maybe let's go to the dungeons. Check out who's in the dungeons. Whoa. You sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants held in the dungeons. Petty thieves and troublemakers. Now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. There's got to be. First step, get rid of the monarchy. Oh! Oh, our mood's definitely changed. Oh, we're feeling well. Look at that willful. Oh. So how does that change our stuff? Not as much as you might think. Oh, well, actually, intrigue, military, and lumen. Oh, I wonder if I should do some lumen studies. I feel like I might... I feel like that's not a bad idea. Okay, so let's do intrigue. Uh, internal affairs, what the nobles and other citizens are up to. Yes. And... Um, where was... Wait, what was the other one? Mystical, so faith or lumen. But lumen wasn't on the list of classes. Oh, maybe you don't. Un maybe you unlock Lumen by talking to Juliana more. Ah, shoot. So I guess that's not an option then. Oops. Damn it. Uh, I guess we could do military then. Logistics, strategy, skill of achieving victory on land. C. Or being able to move troops and supplies in a time. Let's do some logistics then. You never know. You never know when that old war might break out. I mean, my auntie might start war with us now because I let her daughter get bit by a snake. I mean, you never know. All right. Uh, until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown. And after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. Oh, well, that's very interesting. So if they eliminate me... then they would take the throne. Oh. Uh, and the logistics. Uh, you learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march and how long they will remain edible. Good enough. One of the maids approaches for your attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. Oh, oh shit. Well, we have a Duke of Sedna. Oh. Okay, foreign affairs was a bit of a drop of the ball moment there. Uh, no, my lady. Uh, the Duchy of Sedna is in Talas. They brought you a letter. And a gift. Condolences on the death of... Deeply regret. Best wishes. Okay, same old, same old. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Don't trust anything. Court manners failed. Oh, something sparkly will make me feel better. Oh dear, well, we tried. Um, What should we be looking at here? Um, plus two willful, plus one lonely. That's really going to put the willful up to the max, though. Um, let me think. Let's do... Wait. I don't want... Well, we could... Maybe. Let's explore the castle. 
You wander through the part of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find little except spider webs. Yuck. Oh, well, now we're mostly afraid again. <laughs> well, how does that change everything for us? Oh man, again, it's agility, massive, and faith. Yeah, okay, well that didn't really do much of, much good for us, did it? But I guess we could go back to the agility and the faith then, I suppose. I feel like I'm getting a bit top-heavy though. For the skill learnings, but... I guess we just go back to the two, agility and faith. So, um, let's do some dance, I guess, and some, maybe some, uh, maybe some, uh, law. Good bonuses, though. You practice curtsying, standing, and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. Good. And, uh, woof. Uh, the kings and queens of Nova have all been lumens for centuries, but in modern times, magic is only used for ceremonial occasions and the direst of emergencies. Long, long ago, the continent of Borealis was ruled over by a single witch king until a rival line of lumens challenged for the crown. The resulting war went on for a hundred years with powerful spells that damaged the land so badly that even now, no plants will grow. Kind of a little allegory for nuclear war, surely. As you're walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Ursul. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice that seated beside her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. Oh, this has got to be a magic -y thing then, right? Looks like she's busy. You turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Uh-oh. Was that a servant? A thief? Or uh, an assassin? Oh, uh, uh, uh-oh. I've got agility. I could dodge a poison dart. Right? Oh, I can't climb. You look around for something to climb, but you're not sure if the nearby trees can support your weight. You run over to a statue to try and pull yourself up onto the pedestal, but it's too awkward to get your feet in place. By this time, whoever you saw is probably gone anyway. Well, there goes that opportunity. Whatever. I guess. Um. Maybe we should attend court. Just to see how that mixes our emotions up, because it changes a whole bunch of shit. Well. I don't know, actually. Play with the toy. No, let's let's do it. Sitting in on court sessions is not fun at all. But it pleases your father and it may be important for your future. Oh uh, yeah, we still look pretty much the same. Mostly afraid. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, our mood's not exactly awesome, is it? I might have to bring the uh, I might have to bring the anger factor up a little bit here soon. Uh, how does it change our skills this time then? Still kind of the same, except <laughs> yep. Yep. Agility and faith are still massive bonuses. Oh dear. Well, this is only going in one direction, isn't it? But the problem is, once something turns up that isn't one of those things, I'll be screwed. But. I'll keep plugging away. Reflexes and uh, divination. Good reflexes. Oof, we got to 50. You practice running at high speed back and forth over a small area, making quick turns and changes in direction. And you practice tennis against multiple opponents, learning to judge at a glance when a ball is too far away to reach in time. Skill and reflexes now 50. You may not increase the skill until your other agility stats are 25 or higher. Oh. Interesting. And the divination is... Dropping your favourite plate is bad luck. A statue spontaneously shattering is a bad one. Well, I'd say so. Why would a statue spontaneously shatter? What caused that? Uh, you read about well-known signs of bad fortune. Wells turning sour, dry lightning, strange fish caught in nets, malformed babies being born, and so on. All the usual stuff that means something shit's about to go down. As you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down holding a towering pile of linen. Oh, am I going to get knocked over? 
Oh, shit. You swiftly step aside and let her pass. Oh, well. I didn't get knocked over. Victory for us. Um, maybe I should do something that makes me uh, more angry. Is it angry? Where's cheerful? Yeah, because the depression, I need the anger uh, uh, up. Maybe I should just do... Where, oh, sports, maybe? That's the only thing that boosts that particular... Oh, well, there's this as well, but that's the willful. We're already pretty willful. Oh, we could talk to Dad again. Ah, screw it. Let's smack some tennis balls. You take to the court for a few games of tennis. Feel the thrill of competition. Oh, well, I guess it didn't change tons, did it? Okay, things are a bit more balanced, though, but that just means that we won't get as much of a... Whoa! The boost on the agility stuff is still high. Well, it's going to be agility and faith just until we get... Until we fail now. That's the way it's looking. Uh, dance and law. Hmm. Perhaps walking on the arm of a partner and following their cues to pause and turn while keeping your eyes closed. You practice different partnered dance positions, closely held, at a distance, and non-contact, and the appropriate hand placement for each. And then... Hey, look at that, we got to 50 here. Legend has it that long ago, a horde of Yveni on the back of tentacled monsters rode into the Valley of Mead, laying waste to all in their path. Their conquest was only halted when a lumen raised a great flood to drown the invaders. Legend says that the island domain of Malini was once a single island instead of a cluster, until an invading northern queen raised a terrible pillar of fire that shattered the land into pieces. Wow, that's some power right there. That's some bloody power right there. Yep, got it. There is a man here to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. Wait, I'm not queen yet, though. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. All right, cool. It depends what the project is. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 lassie to assemble the metal and a factory to mould and cast the type. With this system, we'll be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now and make copies to send all over the world. Depends what kind of books you plan on printing. Oh. Don't know much about factories or trade. Would that really be worthwhile? Uh, we are not interested. LED. LED. Oh. Damn it. Well, how might you have that? Uh. All right, what are we changing here? I'm going to push... Maybe I'll push the lonely stat a bit if I can. Yeah, I'm kind of curious how that where that one would go. Toy time. You spend the weekend holed up alone in your room with your favourite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. I mean, I always do after I do that. So... Okay, we've got a really interesting balance of stuff going on now. And does that mean the bonuses are... Man! The bonuses for Agility and Faith are still off the charts here. I guess we'll do flexibility and meditation then. Um, flexibility, meditation, done. Whew! You practice circling your arms and making kicking motions with your legs to stretch out your limbs. You practice bouncing motions with your arms and legs to increase the muscular effect. Your outfits. Oh. Uh, you close your eyes and relax every muscle of your body in turn, letting that feeling travel down through you from your head to your fingertips and toes. You take slow, deep breaths, letting that air move through your body, feeling it giving you life and energy. Two new outfits. Oh, hi, Banyan. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. Mm, thanks, that's a nice way of starting the conversation. Thank you, I guess. 
However, I must call for your aid. The Ixianite occupation of the country, uh, the county of Imbrium has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. I haven't done much military strategy, I'm afraid. Well, oh, fuck. I know there's been some problems with Ixion, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie. We have plenty of troops, so it shouldn't be that hard to drive them out. If we want to make a fight of it. Ooh, we got a success. Try to negotiate, prepare for battle. Hmm. We could try negotiations. Perhaps. There must be a peaceful way to settle this. I will send for diplomats from Ixion to try to come to some arrangement. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, if I may ask, that necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? Ah, the necklace we got as a gift, the one I was suspicious of. It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then you have made arrangements with him? Oh, where are you, uh, are you, uh, are you looking? I am an independent princess, soon to be queen, and I don't need no man. Um, what sort of arrangements? Oh, Elodie. Your Highness, that is a courting gift. The man wishes to gain your hand in marriage. Take the necklace off. Take it off right now. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Burn it. Throw it out of the window. Oh, I didn't realize. That, well... That's not, okay, not this much of a, oh boy, we're, we're, we're below the line on everything here. I need to lift some stuff up. I need some good things. I need good things, not bad things. Please. But like, everything has something bad to it. Oh, the sports also takes one lonely off. That's actually pretty good. All right. All right then. I'll take it, but I mean, uh, are we all... Oh man, this is just pretty much all balanced now, isn't it? But we're still getting bonuses, like, out the wazoo for these. Do these bonuses stack when you've got high stats in things? Maybe I should be looking to improve some other things here. Um, like, conversation for a start. You know? Well, in the social. Uh, yeah, sorry, conversation. And maybe we should look at, like... Uh, maybe uh, some history maybe conversation history just to mix things up a bit because I can't I don't want to just focus on <laughs> okay hang on conversation and history so let's do conversation history uh, let's do uh, 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 court manners is a good one and uh, um... oh um Let's do some northern history. Got to get some other stuff ticking here, you know. You review the correct readings for guests according to rank and when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honours. And, uh... You read about the history of your domain. Hundreds of years ago, Nova was the centre of a great empire spanning the length of the western coast as well as a few island territories. Over time, your influence has waned tends to happen. Oh, the representative from Ixion is here. Be careful. No one wants to give up prizes that they have won. You have the full support of my sister and myself, your highness. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Hi, Bryn. I like your hair. Oh, shit. Northern history, I wasn't high enough on the stats. Your royal highness... Thank you for granting me this audience. I'm sure we can come to an amicable arrangement. Let bygones be bygones, no? We will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. Wait, no, that wasn't the deal. Oh, oh, damn it. We can be good neighbours again, without any lives being lost. Oh, God, I'm failing so many things. Stop. Offer him money? Bluff? Intimidate? Execute him? <laughs> yeah, just chop his head off. That's the solution. I don't know if this will work. You are trespassing on our lands. You will withdraw your troops at once. 
Only then will we have peace. Yeah, Elodie. Tell him, Elodie. Hmm. This necklace I'm wearing might convince him that we are already allied with Duke Sedner in the domain of Tala. <gasps> oh, absolute coincidence. But I will take it. I will take it all day long. Threaten to attack. Claim your ally. Maybe I should do this. As you can see, I already have allies. Do you really want to face both Nova and Talas? Perhaps not. Yes, I won. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I'll take that victory. I'll take any victory. What's our mood like now? We're very much teetering uh, in the middle of everything here. Um, uh, but, 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 but I want to be cheerful if I can. Cheerful and perhaps lonely. <laughs> uh, plus one cheerful and yeah, maybe maybe the toys again. <laughs> oh wait, no, walk in the gardens. Yeah, a walk in the fresh air helps you forget the burdens on your shoulders. There we go. Uh, we still look pretty sad, don't we? <laughs> We've just been afraid for this entire playthrough so far. Uh, right, so far not dead, not bad. Uh, we will come back and play some more of this very soon. I've actually really enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure I'd already fudged things up by now the last time I played this, so I already feel like I'm a bit better off than I was before. I feel like I need to balance some more of my skills, though, because when we look at the skills here, there's a whole bunch on zero. It's kind of hard because you can only do two at a time, and there's a whole stack of stuff to try and build up. Um, and there's like, it's imp it'll be impossible to get anywhere near super high on everything, but at least I'll try and balance some other things out. Because we've got a really good set on the agility and the faith. But it's like, I can't just... I can't stack everything in one place. So, when we come back, we'll think about where we're going to put some other points here. Um, but this is really fun. It's very good. The character design is really nice. Um, and it's such an intriguing idea for a game. Just those sudden random events. And I think things do always happen in the same order, though. I don't think they're super random. So once you play through once, you could maybe try and preempt some of the things before they happen, as long as you remember everything. So that could be something we might have to look at doing if we... If things go terribly south, terribly quickly next time, might have to start trying to get ahead of the game on some things. But regardless, uh, this has been fun so far. Looking forward to playing more. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate you. And uh, love all of you too. Take care of yourselves. And I'll uh, see you soon for more Long Live the Queen. Toodles.